You're watching UNICEF Television. Action! FIFA governs football, which is the most popular sport in the world. UNICEF is the largest children's organization in the world. And MTV is the greatest phenomenon among youth. So it was a natural that for the largest sporting event in the world, we would all three come together in partnership. MTV and UNICEF have worked together for a long time. It actually started back in 1997 when they first asked to get, get involved in the World AIDS campaign. We often get sent UNICEF's PSAs to put on air on MTV. When we spoke to them, we said it would be great if we could actually use our creativity to help UNICEF um, with their amazing lineup of talent and see if maybe we could match the two together. MTV! PSA is really the first of its kind because there are 15 World Cup players in one public service announcement that MTV filmed. It was no easy task to travel all around the world in less than a month, film the different players in their different locations and put it all together in one piece. The shooting schedule has been fairly crazy really. In order to get the time with the players, it's been important to fit in with their working schedules, which is obviously very hectic. We've taken about 10 days to do um, South America and most of Europe, so uh, it's been fairly exhausting, but very worthwhile. I think we've got some great stuff. If you look at the football talent that you've got here, you've got David Beckham, we've got Didier Drogba, we've got Paolo Wanchop, Thierry Henry. So if you look at that, it's going to attract our Nickelodeon and MTV audience to watch these spots and hopefully learn from the message. You really begin to realise the communicative nature of these figures, just in terms of their, their iconic status really. It's been terrific with the players, they've been very versatile and um, flexible in their approach to coming along to the, the short notice places that we found and, and, and doing what they can for us, so everything's been a surprise really. I don't want to give too much away what the PSA is about, but the 15 players appear in different football-related scenes, as do children, and it all comes together at the end in a very surprising way. Wherever we've been around the world, you always come across whichever location you're in, whether it's back streets of cities or down at a local park. Kids, whatever sex or age, are playing the game and everybody understands how it works. That's the unifying element to the whole thing, really. But it doesn't matter what language you speak, it doesn't matter where you come from. You can stick a kid who can kick a ball on a beach, on a street or on a football pitch with another group of children who they've never met before and they can all play together and they play as a team and that to me is the most amazing thing about football. 